anyone to get off their darkest ground But gravity pulls you straight down and in this video i'm going to show you my 3d printed robotic arm that is having a six degrees of freedom which means it has six individual moments of freedom where it can move differently in six directions i started printing this uh, 3d printed robotic arm at the start of the before the coronavirus and the start of the lockdown but as soon as the lockdown was implemented i ran out of filament and and as you can see most of these parts are printed in different colors and you can see most of the people who print this robotic arm they tend to have in one single color but i beg to differ due to the shortage of the filament that i was running so i always wanted to have a robotic arm and 3d printing uh, helped me to build this one and in a projects like this there is a lot of problem and hassle to collect all these small parts and joints uh, which are required in this um, project so all of these materials which i required to build this project are in into the description of this video and if you want to skip ahead and don't want to go through the these printed parts you can skip ahead to the timing that is shown right now on your video so let's go to these parts that we have right here so let's go with this one this one is a shoulder and as i was printing this i ran out of blue filament so i replaced this with another dark blue or deep blue pla filament all of these parts are printed in pla and the filament and the nozzle size i was using was 0.4 so uh, this is the base of the robotic arm or you can see as a shoulder it gives the movement of um, 360 uh, movement of uh, movement to the arm on uh, the basic arm so this is the shoulder and as you can see it has two different color tones and i was running out of filament blue and the navy uh, the navy blue or the light screen sky blue and i swapped this one with a darker shade of blue so this runs this printed out perfectly that one was but this one printed out perfectly but this one printed out perfectly so uh, this one is the arm and uh, as you can see there is a slight uh, step and there is a line that you can see very fine line and that you can see and there is basically where my uh, belt and or my printer xyz direction skipped a little bit i think i uh, something heavy felt on my printer when i was working but uh, it turns out to be fine and as you can see over here this is the base and this is a pla filament or um this is i think uh, brown or gray or i think golden i'm not sure and this is the base so we will assemble these and these are the belts which i ordered from montana international their link is in the description you can contact them um, based on the size that i mentioned and uh, you can have the order and these uh, these are the final versions of the belt they have the perfect teeth these are t5 belt and they have the perfect teeth which perfectly aligns with these uh, teeth of the 3d printed part and it gives a better torque and the grip over the parts and when we will assemble them it will give us a less slippage and if you when you are working in project and i am planning to use uh, a ramps board to actually control the, the um, values of all these motors and uh, a robotic arm so 
let's get started so we'll start with the base so as you can see there is certain oozing of filament and there are support structures inside this base so we'll use a hot air gun and a deburring tool and a small filer to remove these parts In order to make the upper arm rotate freely, there are small 605 uh, bearings that I've used. So they will fit perfectly and they will make sure the two surfaces are not touching and they are perfectly able to move independent of each other. Here I have used two bearings of 608 and uh, they both will come one on top and one bottom and they will both hold a 8mm rod, a plain rod and based on that uh, axis the whole uh, base will move.
so while I was fitting the uh, 608 bearing into the base of the motor I found out there was some error in tolerances and it is not a perfect fit so I took a small plastic uh, base and the PLA filament and I used it to properly uh, put the bearing into place The shoulder was a big print and I had to make sure it stick properly to the bed. So I used the extra clips to make the brim properly stick to the bed. We'll start with the cleaning the shoulder base. So this will hold uh, two NEMA 23 stepper motors both on each side and it will act as a shoulder. Remove the sharp and corners or edges using a burring tool. So I printed this part in golden PLA or I think it's brown PLA. So the problem with this part is it's not perfectly flat and uh, more on that later. But I tried using a hot air gun to make it more level. But I think I might print another one. NEMA 23 for the base that I ordered it initially had a gear on it and I think it's an old paper printer or an old printer gear on top of it so in order to remove this I thought I should go to a local mechanic where I might get a, a drill press to remove this so the local mechanic used a hammer and a screwdriver to actually remove the gear forcefully and uh, honestly this is not the right way and I didn't have any other option but if you had or wound up in the same situation don't use this uh, try to find a drill press near you and 
try to remove the gear by putting the force on top of the spindle so as i was saying the hammering of the stepper motor has bent the spindle and it's not perfectly straight and the inner uh, i think they are called uh, rotor cups so the rotor cups are not perfectly uh, in position and they are touching the winding and the stator so this motor is ruined I did manage to salvage some screws from the destroyed motor that I used in the bot I did try to sand down the uh, this golden part and try to make it more flat but as you can see over here there is a, a lot of gap left so because of this the um, the bearings on the base will not be able to touch it and they won't be a, a perfectly smooth motion So I got this 8mm plane rod from Amazon, they are basically steel rods and I need to cut them based on the distance of each axis, they will go inside my 3D printed parts and they will act as a axis from on which the rotation will be made. So I quickly assemble my drill attachment and it basically helps me to 
uh, use my drill as an angle grinder and I use it to cut the 8 mm rod based on my requirement. Remember to use proper safety equipment. Here I am using a heavy duty safety gloves and the angle grinder will basically uh, produce small particles that might give you rotation on your skin and on your in your eyes so please use uh, safety equipment as per the job
remember to clean the edges of the plane rod Now we will clean the next part that is your elbow base This geared NEMA step 17 stepper motor has perfectly fit inside this elbow base. So in order to reduce the cost of the 3D printed robotic arm and it's very difficult to find the parts, I built this 3D printed T5 pulley so i'll put the link in the description and i think that's a long video so catch me up for the next part